This is uh, Jim at FreeChartVideos.com. It is 7 o'clock, December 14th, 2010. And we're going to look at the S&P 500. Um, and again, this is brought to you by FreeChartVideos.com. Using time honored techniques to understand modern markets. Uh, this video is for educational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as any form of investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but only you can draw your own conclusions from your own due diligence and make those investment decisions that are suitable for your financial situation. I'm not a licensed professional. I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. So let's look at some charts, and I'm going to draw some lines. Okay, the first thing I want to say is that, uh, you know, I've been talking for a couple months about a target in the S&P 500 between 1240 and and 1250. I am uh, I am satisfied with where the S&B has traded over the last two days, uh, the 13th and the 14th, uh, having reached uh, uh, over 1246. I think that, as far as I'm concerned, satisfies the minimum target that. Uh, that was set up during the five-month-long inverse head and shoulders pattern. And for those of you who have not seen what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this pattern right here. When this pattern developed, as soon as we got over 1123, um, I was making the call for 1240 to 1250 based upon the historical outcome of this type of pattern. Um, then we started getting into some little finer details. Uh, you, you remember that we looked at uh, at a channel that uh, that went up and it very nicely defined for uh, what was it nine weeks, and this was the this was the lower line of that channel. This was the upper line. Then we broke down below the channel, consolidated, made another consolidation. Uh, in the form of an inverse head and shoulders, that broke out. That pattern did not, well, let's see if it did. Come on, come to daddy. That pattern did not quite make it. It did not go quite as high as it should have. Um, but, you know, when you start seeing little signs of weakness like that, that's when you can take a step back and you can say, well, you know, nothing goes up forever. There are corrective moves. Even in bull markets, there are going to be large corrections like we had uh, set up by the flash crash. And there are also small corrections that are set up along the way. So it is my feeling that, uh, that we may be at this point setting up for, uh, for a, a number of down days that uh, will take... Uh, it will test support. We'll see how many of these levels of support uh, hold, and then we will start to look for uh, a, another bottoming pattern uh, to reestablish our long positions. Uh, I am now about 60% in cash, and of the remaining 40%, about a third of that is in gold and gold-related stocks, uh, and the other is in some tech stocks that I believe... Um, well, they look pretty strong on the chart, so I'm, I'm not trading out of those, but I am out of all of the 3X uh, uh, bull funds. I'm out of FAS, I'm out of TNA, I'm out of DRN, and uh, so I'm, I'm playing it close to the vest right now. Now, there is a chance that what we're doing here, if you look, we hit resistance, made a dip down, another dip down, a larger dip today, who knows? Maybe we're setting up another little inverse head and shoulders pattern that's going to poke through and make a move, uh, you know, up again. Because we've, we've got this channel line that broke late today. And um, this may be a little back test here, but we could, we could come up. We could have another, another up day uh, eventually. To, to back test this line that I'm highlighting, but you know, that's not going to create that big of a move. And that's not something I'm not willing to uh, 
to risk uh, capital on 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 a five or six point move at this point. Um, now you might ask, are, are you turning into a, a bear now? And absolutely not. Uh, I am still bullish on this market because I believe in the historical perspective, um, this market will probably run for another year and a half to two years as a bull market. And it is possible. I'm not saying this. Is, I'm not predicting this at this point. But I'm saying that th- there are people who are so bearish, they are just in their minds. There's absolutely no way the S&P can match uh, the two previous highs that were set over 1500 And I'm saying, why not? Who, who, who's to say that can't happen? You know, the only people who are saying that can't happen are people whose money is not in the market because they're scared of this. And uh, they're all the more reason to believe that it's a possibility. When everybody says they're expecting it, that's that's when you you head for the hills. So anyway, uh, this is where we are. We broke this support. I thought when we bounced here today, I thought, wow, this may be setting up nicely. But when we could not get over this line that was the previous high set just uh, yesterday, that uh, that told me we're kind of in trouble here. So... So let's kind of hold off, pull out of the market, get in cash, and and see uh, where things are going to go. Now, let's back off. Let's see, where do we have support? Well, we got a boatload of lines here on this page. But I would say that uh, this line should be should offer weak support. I'm not looking at that as being a real strong thing. Uh, because that that line was just set up over a couple of days, this line uh, should offer more support, and that would be around the uh, high 1100s, 1190s, actually, depending upon when it's tested. If that line were to give, do we get down here to this uh, to this orange line? The orange line is the old broken, what I what I would call the bear line, drawn over the top of the. Uh, bull market in October 2007 and over the top of the April 2010 highs, that should offer support. You can tell there's not a lot going on in between here other than this area of congestion. Now, since this was such a large area of congestion that lasted for a number of weeks, I would expect this line to put up a good fight if we get there. Um, But what we're going to look for we're going to look for some type of chart pattern. We're not just looking for a touch on a line. I'm looking for a chart pattern. I'm looking for something that says, we've tried this, we've tried it again, we've tried it a third time, and obviously it's not going to break, so now let's go up. Or maybe a double bottom. We tried it, we tried it again, then we finally decide it's time to get back, get back to, to, uh, to being a bull market. Um, if all else fails we've got this line and this is the neckline to that large head and shoulders and you can tell there never was a really strong solid back test on that line while we were in this pattern right here that I just showed you that large area of congestion um, you know I was under the kind of feeling at that point that maybe we were setting up to back test that line and then finally, if we, I think we probably need to draw this here. This is a line that, that starts way back at the, at the March 2009 lows. And, uh, and it, it also uh, crosses this. It doesn't cross anywhere else. And that could also offer support. But, you know, all of that aside, and here's that, uh, here's that orange line I was telling you about. All of this aside, I think we're we're probably in for some corrective trend now. Uh, something probably along the order of what happened right here. I don't think it's going to be a major uh, shakeout. I don't. I mean, what's well, going to scare people? But I don't think it's going to be a major thing. Um, I think once it's over, the market resumes and we head up for thir- for the thirteen hundreds probably on the next leg. But uh, right now, discretion being the better part of valor, uh, I'm I'm uh, in cash, waiting for a better signal 
to make itself known because right now this market's looking a bit uh, um, it's looking kind of busted <laughs> as you might say um, so again I want to remind you I'm not saying that this is the, this is going to be the beginning of a of a huge down uh, draft I'm just thinking we are now going to make some type of corrective move and uh, it either goes sideways or sideways down and um, and then we'll look for a place to reestablish our, our long positions. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And when you get a chance, stop by freechartvideos.com. Uh, I need your traffic. I need your support there so I can keep this free. Because like I say, it's going to look pretty stupid when I have to change the name of the website to expensivechartvideos.com. Don't make me do that. Thanks. And we'll do another video tomorrow.